Okay, first scene, you're all set? Yeah. Uh, uh, Kristen, you're going to introduce? Yeah. extra members in our audience and everyone in the class has been working really hard on these scenes for the past several weeks so I'm just going to let Kristen introduce to you uh, what her scene is all about and some of the things that they've worked on and then we'll talk to the actors when we're done. Go ahead Kristen. Hi, um, this is my scene. It's um, between Clarice and Beatrice, the actors, Maddie and Maddie. And um, what happens is, well, you'll see, but it's confrontation, really, because she's very upset with Beatrice, who she thinks is Frederigo, <laughs> which you'll see how that unfolds. And that's pretty much it. And I guess afterwards we'll discuss how we made this happen. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
talk a little bit about uh, the commedia techniques that you employed in rehearsals, and then we'll hear from Maddie and Maddie about how they did. <clears throat> well, what I wanted to try to do with them was to um, definitely, like my biggest struggle with this really, was I wanted to try and put lotsies in it, and I, since I've never directed before, mm -hmm. I'm not really Maybe good at just these explain what lotsies are to people. Oh, lotsies are comedic business, like things that, um, people do or things, for instance, our Lotsi was her knocking over a candle, trying to put out a fire, mm -hmm. and um, it's interesting with this scene because it was kind of hard for me to try and find ways to put things in. Sure. Like, Maria found it considerably easy, I think. I found it a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. So, I tried to put that in, and it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily an accident, but as stupid as, stupid as this is going to sound, um, how we talked about sitcoms and everything, current day sitcoms. I watch um, Desperate Housewives, mm -hmm. and in one of the first episodes of Desperate Housewives, one of the characters, Susan, knocks over a candle and burns down her friend's house. <laughs> and she's frantically there. She does this squeak, and she's like, <gasps> and I just watched it like the day before, and I was like, oh my god, that kind of reminds me of Clarice. So I put that in there so that she's not really paying attention to Beatrice. And I did like another thing to make them more animated, I found this um, exercise online that was one of our mini lessons where instead of doing the scene um, regularly, what they did was they did it without speaking. So they had to be on the same wavelength as each other. Mm. And it was, and what I tried to do was I also didn't want to be like a dictator. Mm -hmm. Like Kevin didn't want to be, I didn't want to be a dictator. So I kind of let them always put input in and they actually, they both came up with the doing the nine poses when she mm. hits her with the fan, doing the yeah. nine poses. So it was a lot of the things that we came up with, they definitely um, came up with with me. So Great. I think that worked really well for you guys to all be participating yeah. in the direction of the show. And I think that you were, mm. were very good at keeping everybody on task. I feel like you guys were really, really were rehearsing pretty much every minute that we had to rehearse. You seem to take the time very seriously and, and use it wisely. And I'm glad to, to hear that even though you were already halfway through rehearsals by the time Comedia Man came in, you were able to incorporate some of the things that he taught you as well. So since you guys were also in on the directing in addition to the acting, talk to us a little bit about what was difficult, what was easy, what kinds of things you learned. Well, probably the most difficult part for me was, because I'm, as most of you know, I'm usually like the man. <laughs> you know? And you know I did that on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> so, but Kristen really helped me. Like, she helped me with the, like, because I always turn myself mm -hmm. towards the like, audience. So I tried to make it so I'm like facing you guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I did. <laughs> um, but she just helped me, like, when we didn't use any words. Like, we just let all of our emotions out, and I, we did more stuff like with our faces, and it just came out a lot better. So the physicality yeah. and like sort of the little like more feminine movements that you had to put in, yeah. which I think you did a really great job with. I had to work and costumes that. and props and things like that help. Also. Yeah. I think the hardest part for me was just like what Maddie said. I usually like when I was reading over her lines, I was so much better at being a Clarice mm -hmm. and like animating that whole part, which is why you made me Beatrice. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of tried to throw in some of how I usually act, which is the more girly part when I was Beatrice. Mm -hmm. But like throughout reading Servants to Masters, I was really confused with how Beatrice was. I couldn't tell if she was really rude or if she was really girly and just <laughs> trying or she was tomboyish. So part of me wanted to make her like too sweet to the point where she was just mean. <laughs> um, well, she's certainly tough. Yeah. To have to do what she did. So I think that that was a good.